In this lesson, we'll convert our roll cage simulation to keyframes. So here's my simulation. And we'll just watch this back again. We've cached the simulation out. Okay, and we've loaded that cache onto our cage. And we can see there's my roll bar cache right there. So it's playing directly from that. Okay. Now what I need to do is convert this over to keyframes, and I'm going to show you why. So let's import our truck, okay. and let's just open up our outliner over here somewhere. Okay, and now I want it, I need to take the truck and match it to my roll bar. So let's just do that first. Okay, so there's the roll bar and there's the numbers that we have there. I'm just going to select all of those, hold shift, and then select my truck. Now this works too because the truck is at zero. But we'll go to edit and go to transfer attribute values and just open this up. Okay, and my settings are already in there. We want to grab from the channel box and grab those values. We're not getting any type of connections. Just choose apply and close. Okay, and that just adds those values to there. It's a heck of a lot easier than trying to remember and type them in uh, and, and do all of that stuff. All right, so we have that attached uh, just by values, but it's not actually on that roll bar yet. So if we take a look and we'll just cycle through this. You can see, okay, sure, those values are there, but of course it's not moving with it. But if I were to take the truck and make it a child of the roll bar, okay, the same thing happens. Nothing. Okay, this is because that roll bar is a simulation. Its transform doesn't move, only the geometry moves. Okay, so as it simulates out, it just gets further and further away from its own transform. Okay? The truck is parented, for all intents and purposes, to the transform. Well, it definitely is. It's, it's parented to the transform, not the geometry. So we got to change this up a bit. So I'm going to select my cage and just grab a single face. It really isn't going to make a difference which face I grab here. Okay, and actually I skipped a step here. Let's just back out of that. And first thing I want to do is I'm going to create a locator. And let's just raise this up so we can see it. Okay, and I want to take this locator and constrain it to my geometry. This way I'll be able to bake out keyframes directly to the locator. So I'll select a face then hold shift, select my locator, make sure that I'm in the animation module, and go to constrain, and choose point on poly. All right, and threw it way down there at zero. That's not at all what I wanted, so let's try that again. I'm gonna grab single face there, Oh, I've got the truck in there. Hang on, let's unparent that. That's going to make things a little screwy. So I'm going to select that face from the roll cage, and then I'll grab the locator and do constrain point on poly. There we go. Okay, and so the locator is now positioned. It's over here in this corner of my roll bar, not on that face at all. Okay, now I don't care. That's really not going to make a difference, but I'm going to show you why it did that. Uh, just in case if you if you definitely needed something to be accurately placed there. The point on poly constraint is based off of the object's UVs. So if we go into the UV texture editor, you'll see that the UVs for my roll bar are practically non-existent. They're sitting all on top of each other, so that's why the position of that locator isn't where we expected it to be. All right. If I were to lay out my UVs, then I'd get some accurate placement. But again, I really don't care. Um, I just need a single transform. Okay, and now I've got it. So now when I play that simulation again, and we'll just select that locator, we can just scrub through here, we can see that the locator indeed follows with my roll cage. 
Okay, that's perfect. So now I can select the locator and go to Edit, Keys, and choose Bake Simulation. Okay, I'm going to bake out the Translate and Rotate. So we want Selected. We'll do From Channel Box, Time Slider, 1, 2, 300, Base Animation. All of this is good. Okay, and we'll choose Bake. It'll go through the animation or our simulation. All right, and now I get my keyframes. So now I can select this roll cage here. Okay, and I'm going to go to the nucleus and just actually shut it down. Okay, and we're still going to get it because it's working off of the cache file. And I will select my locator, and let's just take a look. Okay, it still has the point on poly. Let's get rid of that and make sure, yep, the locator is still following it. All right, so now it is working off of keyframes only. Now, the cage is still under the control of the simulation cache, but the locator is all just keyframes. Okay, that's exactly what we're looking for. Now, I can take my truck, okay, which we've already positioned to match our roll bar, and I can make that a child of that locator. Okay, and now it's going to follow along. And we'll just switch here to a different camera. Okay, and now, so if I just hit play, we'll see our truck come flipping down here. Okay, now that's not what we're after just yet. We're not going to take the entire truck and simulate it like that, but if, if I wanted to come back in and just do keyframe deformation effects on the truck, I could do it now. I already have all my flipping. I know exactly where the points of contact are going to be, so I could easily add some deformation effects here. Okay, But we want that higher end look. We want a actual end cloth to provide collision deformation effects. Okay, So I'm not going to do that from the full mesh like we have here. I just wanted to demonstrate how our locator is actually going to function. Okay, we're actually we will be using that locator quite a bit to attach other objects to it. Okay, and those other objects are going to be end cloth objects, and we're going to have to attach them in a certain way. Okay, but we'll tackle that uh, a little bit later. So this uh, will conclude our lesson here, and that is a look at converting our roll cage simulation over to keyframes.